Hi, I'm Jake Lumen, and today I'm making a wood tank, and I'm a toy maker, and I'm just going to be showing you how to make this. Before we begin, I just want to show you how much I grew on my plans, and these this is a Volkswagen. This is what it was supposed to be, but I had to make some changes because I messed up, and... This next one is my Slugabug, and this is my better plan that I made up, and this is when I decided to use professional plans, and this is just how much I grew, and the Slugabug and the Volkswagen is just my plans, I didn't use any others, so I, I, I just did it with scrap wood, and that's pretty much how, that's why it doesn't look very professional. So this is the tank I'll be making, and I'm using this tablet to it was just I'm just going to refer to it to help me see how the how what the tank looks like. These are my papers and this is all my wood and I'm just going to use a ton of different sizes for each part of the tank and I have my glue right here and then my clamps I'm not going to make my own wheels because they they get really hard to make and to get it smooth and to fit right. And they're really just cheap at like Hobby Lobby and Home Depot and stuff. Now I'm starting step one and first I'm going to cut it to width. Now that I've cut it to width, now, um, I'm going to cut it to length, and I'm just using this cross miter. Now I'm just gently sanding the um, wood so no wood splinters get in the glue. And I'm just going to assemble the um, second step, and I'm going to put the glue and put it on that scrap wood and take the stick and put it on all the parts with the step and I'll just do this to the this part of the video Sand the fenders to make them the trapezoid shape to put on the side of the tank. See how that will fit on the side of the tank. Now I'm just gonna assemble the ne that second side of the tank onto the parts I glued on before that have now dried.
right here, I'm just going to glue the side of the tank on, and I'll show when it's done. Uh, now I'm just going to drill the holes for the axles to fit in. And I'm just going to use this power drill to drill down. And I'm just going to put the wheels in on the tank now that I've um, drilled my axle holes. And I'm going to put my fenders on. I'm just going to glue this on and I'm going to use a spacer to to make sure the it doesn't slide down on the wheels. Now I'm just going to glue on the turret. I'm just going to build the base first and then put in the turret on the top. And this is what my um, final product looks like, and yeah, um, these are just some shots of it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.